When I went to the US, I found lots and lots of aisles of medication. I've never seen so many aisles of medication in a general store, like a Walmart or something else that I can't remember. And there was something very, very new to me. Because in Hungary, you have to go to a pharmacy in order to get some stuff. Now, it's true that the very basic of medicine, like something for a headache or some simple cold medicine with a tiny bit of paracetamol and whatnot is available in a Tesco or an Ocean or whatever other general store we have. However, it's not possible to buy anything strong. And by strong, I don't mean strong by American standards. I mean strong by Hungarian standards, which is very mild. There is one other difference. When you go to your doctor, your GP, in Hungary, it would be absolutely unheard of if you asked the doctor for a specific brand of medication. Usually the doctor asks you, I'm going to prescribe this one because I believe it's cheaper, but it has the same effect. Would you be okay with that? Sure, I'm usually okay with that, because you know, money. But also, sometimes they ask you whether you have certain allergies, because they know that that particular medication would trigger this and that allergy. And if you say yes, they will prescribe something else. If, they, if you say no, then, well, well, there you go, hey-ho! Moving on with the getting better phase. However, you wouldn't know what to request anyways, because there are no commercials allowed on television or in anywhere else. So people are not aware of serious medication. Of course, this puts you into the hands of your doctor, and since you're supposed to believe that your doctor is looking after you, then you're supposed to accept their opinion. And they go to jail if they screw it up anyways. But they generally don't screw it up. There is no money in healthcare, as they say in Hungary, but doctors and nurses most of the time are fairly knowledgeable, especially doctors. Now, when it's not antibiotics or anything whatever, that you have no knowledge about. Sometimes you can ask whether this or that sort of medication that your cousin took would work for you because it was more effective, and then the doctor can think about whether genetics would have something to do with it, or explain it to you calmly most of the time, that why you're wrong, or why your guess is not exactly correct. And that's the sort of relationships we tend to have with doctors. It sounds kind of astounding to me that it might be possible to go to the doctor and ask for something that I found in Google with no medical knowledge whatsoever. Also, I come from a country where medication is prescribed if you need it. So I don't exactly know how that issue works in the US and I don't want to judge in any way, but in Hungary the general idea is that you should only take pills if you need them and only for the time you need them. That, before you say any, anything good about Hungary, that can be seen as a sort of overkill done by people. They usually say, I don't need medication at all, which is obviously silly. They often don't go to the doctor because it's a waste of time. They don't question the knowledge of the doctors. They just don't want to go because they are strong, independent men or something like that. And so yeah, that is the way things are. They usually say that you shouldn't really be sick in Hungary. In the US that would mean because you can't afford healthcare. In Hungary you can definitely afford healthcare, but healthcare is not that good. And there is a funny story about this. A student of mine, she worked in the US, the UK, of course in Hungary. I mean, she's a seasoned veteran of healthcare, and she kept complaining about the UK system, that hospitals are not very good, and doctors are not very caring, 
etc. And she went home to Hungary to deal with a health issue. A week later, we had another lesson and she said that, oh my goodness, I take back everything, whatever I said about the UK system, because she found the Hungarian system dreadful. Again, not the knowledge of the doctors, but the tiny amount of money that the system has. And this is a big issue, and I don't want to go political again, or anything like that, but that's a major issue in Hungary. It's something that affects everyone, so this should be the priority of any government. And they seem to have it as a priority, but somehow they just can't figure it out. Lots of people are quite angry about this, especially those with health issues, so they often overblame the government saying that, oh, they steal money, they do this, they do that, just because they just can't fix healthcare. Maybe it's unfixable. Maybe we would need billions and trillions of dollars to fix it. Probably not, though. But somehow, the government in the past 25 years has not been able to find the amount of money they need to fix the system. I don't know. I'm not saying anything. I'm just saying that the system is not fixed. Anyways, so that's it for now. I hope that helped putting things into perspective regarding what to expect from the Hungarian healthcare system. So thanks for watching and goodbye.